The Wisconsin Badgers played one of their most complete games of the season last Friday night and shut out fourth ranked and previously unbeaten Notre Dame 4-0. Saturday night, a very entertaining game went to overtime. The Irish prevailed 5-4. Now the Badgers hit the road to take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers. I'm Brian Posick and head coach Tony Granato joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. Well, Tony, the Notre Dame series was a good one, I thought, for your hockey club. You played so well on Friday and battled back on Saturday. It goes to overtime and the Irish prevail. But I think that was a step forward for your uh, your squad this season, would you agree? I like how we played. Obviously, we'd love to have had the results on, on Saturday. Uh, it was one of those games where you get the breakaway, Cole gets a breakaway, and, and you take that any day that you, you get a breakaway in overtime and you got it on Cole's stick. And Goalie made a great save. It stops on the goal line, and they turn around and go the other way and put one on our net. So, so I loved the way we competed. I really uh, liked a lot of the things we did over the weekend. The Friday night game was probably our most complete game of the year. And Notre Dame, again, they're a good team, and yeah. they're going to be there at the end. So uh, building from that and continuing to play the same way no matter who we play or where we play them, again, that's the same thing we talked about a few weeks ago. Uh, it'll have to be the case this weekend in Minnesota. Yeah, very encouraging power play, too. Two for two on Friday, three for five for the weekend. Uh, that's nice to see, and you made some changes, and it seemed to work out. It did. I think the, the units uh, looked better. I thought, uh, you know, from that, Wyatt Kelnick probably had his best weekend of the year. I think, you know, that power play wasn't going well, and I think he carried it into his five on five, so his play was a little bit more inconsistent than it has been his first two years here. He was sensational. So I think getting him off that unit a little bit kind of settled him into the game. He played great, scored a big goal, and made uh, tons of great plays all weekend. So power play was great. I think the individual play five on five from those guys was also outstanding. Yeah, Dylan Holloway had a beautiful goal set up uh, with Linus Weisbach. And again, we, we've seen his, his point production doesn't stand out on the stat sheet, but everything else he does, and he's a pretty good piece to that power play too. He is, yeah, and he's gaining more confidence. I think he was you know, frustrated from the standpoint, geez, usually when I get that many chances, I get a few more points, and, and that'll come. And, and uh, you know, he's a solid two-way guy that's hard to play against. He's physical. Uh, but also very gifted offensively. And, and you saw the goal that he scored, tremendous play. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw some other plays he made on the white line of goal, the, the, the drive through to the net, open that lane up for him. Uh, so it's been, uh, he's been really solid for a young player, and he'll just continue to get better, and points will come with it. Yeah, and Alex Turcott, I tell you, you know, every time I watch him, I just become a bigger fan. His vision on the ice is spectacular. Spectacular. His competitiveness is what makes me, uh, you know, brag about who he is because it doesn't matter if there's a loose puck on the ice. He's finding a way to stick his nose in there and compete on it. And if there's a change of possession, he's right back on it. So I, I love that part of him. You, you talk about his vision and his offensive skill. Um, it's elite. There's no question about it. Um, you know, it, with him over on the power play with that puck and having the options of, you know, Holloway. He's got, you know, uh, Sean in the middle now. He's got Caulfield on the other side of him. And he's got Miller at the top. Get him the puck and, and let him make a play because he'll find it. Sure. Alex Turcott from uh, Chicago, fifth overall pick in the NHL draft this past year by the LA Kings. Let's take two minutes with Alex Turcott. The first time you heard the name or met Tony Granato? My dad told me about him, um, that he played with him on some USA teams and um, what a great player he was like in the NHL and, and that sort of thing. So. Um, and then obviously I did some research on him after after I found out about him and met him. So, so what did your research unveil about your head coach? Um, well, I obviously he played a long time in the NHL. He played for the Kings, the Rangers, and Sharks. the Sharks. Yeah, um, I always forget that one. But uh, yeah, um, obviously that he had a great career. And then obviously also he coached in the NHL for a long time too. Um, so just seeing that, um, obviously he knew. Well, what he, what he was uh, doing and what he was talking about, and um, which one thing that's pretty funny is I saw that he got like a huge suspension when he played, yes. um, and that was kind of funny. And uh, for I think he hit some guy over the head, yeah, or he, something. He was pretty good with a stick. Yeah, um, I never really brought it up to him before, but I don't know if that's like a touchy subject. Oh no, but, I'm sure he'd want to talk to you. Yeah, because, but it was kind of funny, so. Sure. Um, that's how I knew he was kind of scary, too, at the same time. Right, right, yeah. right, right. He's the nicest guy in the world, but on the ice, yeah, watch exactly. out. Watch out. Yeah, once he's, he's really competitive, so. Yeah, and you know what? He says that about you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a very nice young man, but on the ice, <clears throat> uh, look out. 
<laughs> do you are you is that is that fair to say? Yeah, I would say that. Um, I mean, I'm really competitive and I want to win, and um, that's in anything I do, it, even if it's practice in a small area game or a drill. Um, I'm really hard on myself and I'm um, really competitive. And if someone's in my way, I'm going to do anything I can to win, and uh, that's just how I am. But I, I think uh, off the ice, then I'm a lot more laid back. I'm really goofy and. Um, I kind of flip a switch when I go out there. I mean, that's what's helped you to be successful at this to this point. Yeah, I agree. Like, uh, like I said, I'm pretty hard on myself, and um, I think you need that to uh, to get better every day and push yourself. And I think that's that's what I do, and that's what I try to do, and um, that's definitely helped me uh, get to where I am. The Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or L Directors Cup on Twitter. Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. Wisconsin's at Minnesota this weekend, the only team younger age-wise than the Badgers, the Gophers. But they've still got talent, like always, don't they? they got a ton of talent, uh, great one-on-one -on -one skill. Um, players that, you know, you have to respect and, and understand when they're on the ice. Uh, but they do, they like to play a lot of one-on-one. -on -one, uh, so we'll have to be really sharp defensively. Uh, we'll have to be aware, you know, when those players have the puck and, and how to defend them. Uh, but again, when these two teams play, when we play them, uh, it really records ages, who plays, you know, and what's, it doesn't matter. It's going to be uh, an intense battle and, and uh, looking forward, always look forward to going up and play there and, and uh, be exciting for, for our team. Yeah, and I have to ask you too, since you've been around now coaching for a while, when you played at Wisconsin, you played at the old Mariucci. Yes. And now it's the new Mariucci, which is, is a nice building, don't get me wrong, and it highlights the history of the program. But what did you like most about the old Mariucci compared to the new? I don't know the difference. I just know that the, I love the, the, the rivalry and the fans. I remember the fans used to scream at me a lot. That's that's part I remember most. But my, it, hurt my, nice it hurt my wife's feelings, oh, actually, okay. That, okay. that they would scream those things to me. <laughs> but no, I it's, in a, it's, it's what college hockey is. The, it doesn't matter the, where you play, does it? The atmosphere, the enthusiasm, the understanding of the rivalries of the two programs that are so rich in history and tradition and have had said so many outstanding players, mm -hmm. teams, games against one another. Um, that this this is what the kids sign up for. When you come to college, you want to play college hockey, you look forward to games like this. All right, have fun. Thank you. Sure, that's Tony Granato, head coach of the Badgers. Wisconsin and Minnesota this weekend, Friday and Saturday night. Both games start at 7 o'clock. Both games on Fox Sports Wisconsin or Fox Sports Wisconsin Plus. And Rob Andringle will join me on the radio on the Badger Sports Network. For Tony Granato and Jay Williams, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.